to another stream of Vintage Story on the channel. If I can speak, that would be great. Um, boom, it's a new day. It's the 1st of November, so the final bit of autumn is here. Um, we're gonna don our winter fit a little bit. Where did I put that? There it is. Got to starting to get a little cold out there. Awesome. And we're gonna get started today. What do, we, what do we need to do? Oh, let's head outside just see what the day is like. Ah, it's a beautiful. Oh, hey Jeff, hanging out with the chickens. Sorry, deal with that. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. All right, chickens. How's the new eggs? Hey, Joshua. What's the plan for today? Well, well, well. We are wanting to take care of our chickens a little bit. Um, we're gonna be making full plate armor using our abundant steel that we have. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. Also, I want to start construction on the Uh, animal pins, the new animal pins. Soon. So, let us first. I need to do something real fast. Hey, Yoda. Hope you guys are doing good. Let's do that. Go to my my channel. I got I gotta check minor setting here. Should, shouldn't take long. There we go. That. This here. Boom. Boom. Hey, Gerald. You're just chilling there? Nice. Nice. <clears throat> All right. How's everyone's day been, by the way? Hopefully, pretty good. Let's start with making a, a set of chain mail at the start of the stream. We're going we're doing we're gonna be doing some heavy blacksmithing. Um, now chain mail. If we were to look at this. Three plus five. Well that's gonna be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're gonna need 20 iron. To get up to speed. Let's go ahead and break some more chunks apart. Let's see, six. Okay, six there. Brings us up to 12. This will bring us up to 18. Plus the additional here. We're gonna get we're gonna get four bloomeries going to make sure we have the iron. So bloomeries, super easy. You just need some fire clay. This is why I made so much of this stuff here recently. So we're just gonna grab all that we can here. We're gonna need to go harvest more clay. All right, so we need four bloomery base. And then four chimney. Just like that. How's it going, Mistro? Good to see you. Good to see everyone on this day. All right, bloomeries, one, two, four, we'll stick them back here. For now. Go ahead and make, make them all full of our nice iron. And these four, is gonna give us a good amount. Here, six, six times four. So 
So I guess that's 24. Total iron bars from this. Hey Dave, hey Queen. It's gonna take a little bit of charcoal, but we still got plenty of that stuff. All right, there we go. Four blooms full of iron ready to start. these in here. Alright, line them up. Rez, good to see you too. Alright, so that is cooking. That's going to be enough iron to make our full steel chainmail or well, iron chainmail and then from there uh what chainmail so from here we then make the plates uh oh boy we're gonna need a lot of plates here also so we're gonna need to do another whole firing here in the bloom, we might even need to enjoyed your introduction to Jeff on Twitter. Yes, it was it was awesome. I appreciate it. I'm glad Jeff is following me on Twitter. You guys should too, because Jeff thinks I'm cool enough to follow on Twitter. If you guys want announcements on what's going on with the channel, or if there's delays with videos and streams, that's where I post that stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and hang up the hammer. I don't think I need it at the moment. Grab a shovel. And let's talk animal pins. Right? Animal pins, animal pins. Um, I'm going to take this pathway. We're going to take it down um, and kind of around this way towards, towards the windmill. So we're gonna make a side road going along the water here. And this is gonna frame the path that we need to get started here. All right, so we'll go up to this level. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Now, I could just do a nice 45 degree angle here, but that's a little lame. So we will go forward two at a time instead. Not quite 45. And we're gonna carve this kind of pathway into this slope. Okay, so we'll go two there here and then we're gonna pivot pretty hard over to the left so we're gonna go one one and then two two yes we're gonna be making full iron plate armor I don't know if we're make the full full set tonight but I'm, I'm starting construction we're smelting down enough to get um, at least the chainmail set done today. I don't. I don't know if we'll get to the whole armor today. But I figured, you know, we have the plate or the 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 iron for it, so we may as well, you know, use the stuff. Cut into it Something like that. Some hey, Greg. Welcome back to the stream as well. 
pathway. Kind of stop there. And then we'll go along this bottom side. Uther's the blacksmith. I, I do like. Okay, where are the full plate animals? The full plate animals are currently in the bloomery. You know, we're we're gonna be making that awesome, awesome chicken plate mail. But for now, while we wait for the bloomery to process, we're gonna be working on the new animal pins. Gonna require some editing here. Doing it by hand? Why not? I, I really like the blacksmithing mechanics. Look, we made a full set of brigadine armor, right? So it's essentially just double the work as brigadine armor. And uh, I'm fine with that. So the road comes this way and then connects up to here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So we're gonna need, um, since we're kind of getting away from the, the most commonly tread areas with this gravel, should we use and make some stone path? I think so, since we're getting distance. Are the chickens gonna get a more peaceful life? No, they're not. They're not allowed. Okay, so it's just cobble over, over some soil, which we're gonna get a decent amount of, since we're gonna be terraforming. So let's do granite over this. Not quite a one to one ratio, kinda sucks. But it is a very powerful, powerful block, so it can it can make sense that it's a little expensive on the cobble. Honestly. Okay, two stacks. Stone path. Man, it's already evening. 1547. Why is this path powerful? It increases your movement speed by 30% when you when you move across this path. Because it's an actual designed path. It gets uh, some nice perks to it. light so you guys can see One, 
two, three, okay. So you can see how quickly we can kind of dash along that path. That's kind of its perk that it gives. It's honestly pretty, pretty useful when you go longer distances. Good. Really trying to pay attention to the the map too. It's gonna the map gives you a nice overview of how things can look. And what I might end up doing, um, similar to our path this way, so if you take a look at our path over here, I've kind of put back some grass and stuff, um, just to make it look a little bit more overgrown and un poorly maintained. Might do the same thing with that other path uh, also. Yes, that's exactly what my character's doing below. Great to pick fiction of uh, what's going on. So, you know, we could, in theory, just knock off a couple bits. Here and there. And this does kind of save building materials because if I end up replacing this with dirt, then that's fine. At least dirt is pretty cheap. Well, that's what I like to see, high effort in this community. Music? Is the music too low? I mean, it's, it's kind of a soft song playing right now. Ah, okay, Sonic the Hedgehog. Got it. We got there. We made it. Carve out a little broken barrow at the side of one of these paths, like a wheel fell off or something. Oh, we could. There's also a, a wheel piece, I think, right? I don't know if we can make these or not, but you can apparently get them somehow. They are a block type. Um, between streams, by the way, I'll give you up to speed on kind of what I did between streams, because I, I just do come in and tinker. A little bit. If we come down to the root cellar, you'll notice that, uh, well, I finished cooking and we're on our next set of shelves. So we have a decent amount of food. A lot, a lot of food going through here, which is good. Uh, I've noticed our bees, even though the temperature is getting a little low, did propagate again. So they are, they are working at the moment. I don't know how much longer they will be working until they go on strike 
essentially. I mean, it wouldn't be a completely pointless chiseling. Chis chis no, no, nothing is pointless. All right, those are gonna be going for a little while. Mm. Put this flax away with the rest of it. Oh, hey, Jeff. Brian Lewis with the $2. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. You've been uh, donating a lot recently. I you know you don't have to do that, but thank you. You could also just become a member again, and you know, just uh, that—that's all I, I really want. I just want more emotes for the community. Mm hmm. Actually, let me check to see where we are until the next emote. Let's see where we got. You should let the bees unionize and avoid the hassle of complete shutdown. True. Which building path was the easy IRL? Took me a whole day digging in stone that time. True. More true. Um, let's see. How close are we to our new, the new emote slot, chat? Uh, 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 we are, emoji tab. How many members away? Six members away until we get a new emote slot. Just my way of supporting you in the streams. I have the time to play, but I can watch the while I work nice. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, all right. Holy cow. Greg, man. Whoa. Just whoa. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that. 50 euros. All right, shoot. <laughs> well then, uh, let me let me make sure my alert thing's playing again. By the way, I think I disabled it completely. Anyways, thank you, thank you so much, Greg. Huge, huge support on that. If there's more members in the chat, can we just get like, a, I don't know, a whole bunch of ramen. You just bought me like 50 years worth of ramen supply. Which I'll take, don't get me wrong. Alrighty, alrighty. I think we can go ahead and sleep. <laughs> Tax rebate. They basically just traded in their car. You know? Okay. Let us get started. Good guy, Greg. Very good guy, Greg. I might have to take Crash out to lunch. When I'm in town next weekend. Not this weekend, next weekend. Oh, whoa, whoa. Jeff. Come on, Jeff, give me give me some more hemp. I need I need more I need more hemp. Ugh, Jeff. Let me down, man. What a letdown. Okay. Let's grab some soil. We're gonna need more soil to get started. On more terraforming. It's an all ramen Japanese, just lower quality ones. Mm. Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I've been to Japan and I did not have one thing of ramen when I was there. 
Is that like a crime against humanity? I feel like it kind of is. And uh, maybe you should take that $50. Back. I just don't think it was something that I thought about getting. We had so much other good food there. Um, between the traditional Japanese breakfast, um, bunch of crepes, very Japanese. Jeff has fur. Does Jeff have fur? How does one make animals? We, we craft them in our three by three crafting grid. Uh, if you have enough bones, you can sacrifice them to the blood god. Teppanyaki? Ooh, yeah. Teppanyaki looks pretty good. I had some um, takoyaki a lot. Taco Wagyu. Wagyu is good. I had some of that. Lots of good options. Now we can restore little bit. My name is Jeff. I wonder if I should make that the uh, sub sound. Looking good. Um, let's uh, before I get too far into the path, um, let's terraform a little bit and kind of decide where we want animal pens to be. So this path is not only going to take us by the um, uh, reed farm and take us to the windmill, but the animal pens will be off these, and also maybe a offshoot off this way to the other windmill we want to make, which is going to go on top of this big hill. So I'm thinking the fence line of the animal pens are going to come down to here, but the animal pens themselves are going to be higher up. Brian Lewis becoming a member. Thank you for forming a town. May you govern it well. Enjoy the emotes. Appreciate it. Oh, nice, mature flax. I'll take that. Okay, so I think this plateau is kind of where... Uh, I think this level game it keeps keeps impressing those frosty tips in the grass yeah 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 change the seasons are really good i really like that in this game let's clean up a little bit by the path yeah colt you've been here for a long while Appreciate it. <laughs> Make a peep. That would be pretty funny. Six more members now for an emote. True. Actually, it's five, right? I think we were five members away. Did this spread? I don't think it did. 
probably didn't. I just feel like I'm losing my mind. Let's go grab some more dirt. We can grab it from this side of the build. We don't really come plan on building many more structures out this way except for the tannery. Trim some grass. So I might have work calling me at some point tonight. Just an FYI chat. Just an FYI crash. Steve, why? Why are you doing that? You you were you were the last person that needs to do that. Thanks nonetheless, dude. Appreciate it. Enjoy the emotes. Colt, five dollars. Well, for many more years to come, with us, my mountain goat friend. Very, I'm a mountain goat now. Awesome. I'm moving up in the world, guys. I'm a mountain goat. Watchtower on the south side. We could do the watchtower on the south side. We could also do one on each side. Also. That'd be cool. Give for the five dollars, Colt. Crazy support today. Holy cow. Am I gonna have to start up Alpine Odyssey and give you guys our parking lot spot soon? Is that what's gonna need to happen? Let me go ahead and start up that game. We'll be uh, we'll be loaded in in four weeks. If I don't didn't get Jeffy Motes, I was gonna explore. Oh yeah, no. you you got the Jeffs. All Jeff all the time, man. Hmm. I think you already have a spot in AO. True. Probably do. Seems like this stream has been a good one for you so far. Congrats. Thanks, Brian. This is the first game I ever played with you was Mud Runner. It was. Um it was. I I remember now. Uthers is getting old, chat, okay? I'm not what I used to be. I'm not as old as Crash MK1, you know, but I'm getting there. Heyo 2.0, God no. That's never gonna happen. I'm sorry. I think the world might freeze over before that happens. Which is gonna be pretty hard with global, you know, climate change going on. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be terraforming this slope. I'm gonna try and even it out, but I still want a gentle up tick in the slope here. One, two, three, four. I think I think four will be good. So go over one, two, boom. One, two, three, four. Chase Walker, I think. Hey, Eco with Colt? Is that when Raptor was doing his server, or did Colt have his own server also? Eco was a game that I, I, I followed a decent amount early on in some development, but I just never played it myself. I feel like I just didn't have the time. 
It was like super grindy, if I remember correctly. Stupid duck duck grace. Nice. a decent little reshaving of the slope here and the reason I'm bumping this out towards the water oh there's a server raptor is playing on all right that's fine um is that I can make all these shells a little bit longer and then cut this back a little bit to give us just a little bit more room Three, let's go two, and then one, and then go two, and then three. Something like that. And by terraforming this way, you kind of get to take some extra dirt from up top, throw it to the bottom, and then use that to blend between the two. Air farming tips by Ethris. In this level that I'm standing on here, this is where the animal pin, like little housing bits will be. And then down here, just gonna be planes for the animals to run around in. And also we can, um, you know, use it for, for growing the grass and harvesting grass. Um, I don't think there are name tags in this game. Which is a bit of a shame. But obviously we're going to at least call one pig Wilbur. I mean, if we don't have Wilbur, guys, do we have any hope? The answer is no, because Wilbur is our help. It is only Wilbur. slope a little bit of a bump up mm -hmm. it's gonna be nice too like looking from here, from the windmill back to the homestead. Once this path is a little bit more detailed out, we might end up replacing the proper grass block with like a compacted dirt or something that doesn't grow grass over it. Um, could use another gravel, could use like muddy gravel maybe. Um, that might work, to be honest. Big old soul, she grumbled and Oh, whoa, man. Barely like Captain Oinkers is a good name, though. I don't, I don't care if it wasn't very ladylike. It's Captain Oinkers. We respect Captain Oinkers. Oinkers here, man. Whoa, Cold, are you, are you advertising right now on my YouTube video? Yeah, I don't care. You, you can you can go ahead and just link your channel. Actually, no, links are blocked. Mm. I think links are blocked to everyone right now. I changed that global setting because YouTube is getting real bad with bots. 
and every video I update or upload, and even after streams, it's just like, oh, by the way, here's a bunch of bots coming in, just li linking it to the most random crap. You didn't post any links. True. Carry on then. Carry on, my wayward son. Let's um, let's maybe start getting dirt from here, and we can try to uncover this ruin chat. That might be cool. I, I wouldn't mind fixing up some of these ruins at some point. Maybe not so close to base, but I would like. To to uncover some of these. Like fully. Kinda see what it's like. Crap is rude, true. Hi Uthris, I'm a YouTuber too. It's like Lux, two, two subs, one video. Oh, okay. Oh, we found a vessel down here. A food vessel. What do we got? We got a whole bunch of rice. All right, we got rice. I wish it was rice seeds. Because I'd like to be growing rice at the base. Yeah, no bots here. Well, no bot bots show up after every video I post. You guys probably just don't see it. We all start somewhere, very true. But I didn't start by begging subs off other people. And so I don't have tolerance for, for that shit. Another jar? Oh, we got a bandage out of that. It's kind of nice. I feel like we're archaeologists now, uncovering the history of what I can only consider to be some sort of amphitheater. What do you guys think this used to be, ruin wise? Yeah, it's a constant struggle in the comment sections. Yeah, 3k subs on YouTube, does that make you a YouTuber? That makes you a VTuber. Okay, I want you to go ahead, get on out there, get a uh, animated rig, and you'll be popular here in the next week. <laughs> it can detect, well, YouTube doesn't even like protect bots from making copyright claims to music that they don't even own. The amount of videos I've had, there's just like copyright claim. I'm like, okay, what's, what's what song did I play? And it's like the sound of wind in like a hallway. I'm like, really? Or it's a song that I know who made it and someone else is still trying to claim it. It's like, right. Yep, if you make good content, people will share it around. Luther's makes bad content, that's why he's only at 25,000 subs, and he's been at 25,000 for for what seems like 30 years. So, don't be like Luther's. Make better content. Okay, we have dug a hole. Very important step for the day. Oh, almost went through this whole shovel. Had a carburetor claim on explosion noise from a bomb. Nice. You know, it, it was the explosion noise from Mission Impossible 2. Obviously, Tom Cruise would like his money. Please. Write him a check. Jeff. Yes, it's all Jeff. Here, have some Jeff. 
have some Jeff. So what should our next channel email be, chat? Any ideas? Don't talk rude. That's all you use to have a following, and if it was rubbish, people would join or donate. True. Nah. Sometimes I can get kind of melancholy about YouTube since back in the day. Back in the day when Uthers was like a... Planet Coaster YouTube guy. Uploading two videos a day. Fresh out of college. I appreciate that, Cole. Very kind words. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop fishing for compliments. That uh, that's a bad habit of me. I feel like I'm doing that, so I'm gonna stop. Um, it's, it's no bueno. It's not cool. I mean, I still have the same amount of followers. It's just Uthris stopped playing the games that got him the views. And plus, YouTube changed at some point. It became less about subs and more about watch time and, and different things. And speed build channels never really, you know, get great watch time. And then, uh, you know, notifications stopped going out. I don't know. Just, just stop. Awesome fun. YouTube happy fun time. Okay. Oh, hey, Jeff. Oh, don't you run from me, Jeff. Let's see if we can get any more hemp. There's some Jeffs here. Is there a Jeff in a kiln at all? Oh, yeah, there is. Kiln Jeff. Oh hey, our iron's done. So that means in the morning we'll uh, we'll blacksmith for a bit. Take a little bit of a break from the other topic. There's a new theme park creator thing coming out, right? I don't know. Like I think people were surprised to find out that I'm not like a theme park enthusiast. Like, I just like building stuff, and um, Planet Coaster was, just so happened, like, the best building game at the time. And probably it's still one of his. You know, Planet Zoo is probably a little bit better now, because it's, they, they, I think they took what they learned from Planet Coaster and expanded on it. Can you have a Kiln Jeff t-shirt, please? Um, no. Uthris has no birch. If I was a real YouTuber, sure. It's impressive to see how much this... How much we've, like, grown. Just from a map point of view. I don't making any video. I don't even know what indoor land is. Explain. You've explained you find your videos to be more... Yeah, well, you know. Yes, I agree. I probably do. Guys, Uthrish is a better gamer than Raptor. Don't tell him I said that, but... Uh, the only game he can beat me in, I'm pretty sure... Red Orchestra, not Red Orchestra, um, what's it called? Men of War. That's just because I don't play that game. Mm -hmm. 
New theme park builder and early access. Huh. I know Park Attacks a theme park building game, but that's that's been in early access for a while, right? I haven't played this, but I haven't played lots of Terraform Crack. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's it is so nostalgic. If you if you miss Terra Firmacraft, um, the Terra Firmacraft devs, I guess the original devs decided to make this a standalone game. It is wonderful, Felix. But I would say this isn't a contest, guys. Let's. Some people watch me. Some people will watch Raptor. Obviously, more people watch Raptor. <laughs> Just from a pure numbers game. We both offer something nice. Alright, let's drop this the eggs off here. And we will break out the blooms. The blooms? Not coins. Just the blooms. Oh, Jeff! Shoot, more than one Jeff! Get back here, Jeff! Okay, next, break this down. Ruthers is this format with the number of views much more engaging. Raptor plays everything, so he's a good for checking out a new game. True, Raptor literally plays everything and calls every video game his new favorite game. Even though it's probably not his new favorite game. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop. There we go. Ah! It's a true Roller Coaster Tycoon homage. See, I never really played much Roller Coaster Tycoon when I was growing up. I was more of a... Um, what was it called? There, were, there was a game for PlayStation 1. Um, I think it was just called Theme Park. That is kind of like the game I played a lot. I was honestly a little bit more of a console gamer until like the PS2 era. And then I kind of got more into PC. It was like Warcraft 3, Counter-Strike. Um, those were kind of like my big PC games back in the day. Especially Warcraft 3, Jesus Christ. So many hours in that game, and I'm so mad that they ruined Warcraft 3 Reforge. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we have 24 Iron Blooms here. Let's grab a stack of Paul Jeff. Come on, man. We're gonna be doing some blacksmithing. Name Jeff. I think I was super lucky. My dad was in IT, and so we got like cable internet pretty, pretty quickly. They're at the tail end of like dial up, and he just kind of convinced work to get it to him. Ah. I'm gonna play Diablo 2 Remastered? Nope. I don't want to give Blizzard any of my money. They can go fuck themselves. Excuse my language. But they, they have not only ruined Warcraft 3 Reforged, they have ruined WoW, and uh, just about every game for the past like five years. They can go jump off a cliff. I'm kind of tired of seeing remasters. I want new original games, original IPs with really good gameplay. That's all I ask for. 
you know. All right, Iron Bloom. Um, do I have a pristine iron hammer? I do. Awesome. Been going downhill since Diablo three. I can see that. Yes. Could you do a stream of playing old games? What kind of old games? Honestly, Crash MK1 plays more old games than I do. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not even going to get into like their, their whole like employee controversy. I just think Activision Blizzard, from a games company perspective, make bad games. And I'm just not interested. Like, I wanted to do a lot of Warcraft 3 custom maps on the channel when Warcraft 3 Reforged came out. And then I played it, and I was just like, this shit's broken. And it's still broken. Like, old games you play way back. Um... I mean, I doubt I can find a copy of Empire Earth 3. It's a notable game that I used to play back in the day. Um, Counter Strike. No, I don't. I don't think I'm going to be playing Counter Strike anytime soon. I don't have the Twitch kind of aiming down anymore. And even then, I wasn't really that good at it. Um, Warcraft 3 Reforge could do some custom games on there, but again, half of them are broken and people aren't making new ones because Blizzard put in the, the clause of, oh, any, any games you put on here, we uh, kind of into their editor contract. Since I'm sure they're still kicking themselves from losing out on Dota to Valve. Do we get to play a game online with me? If I play online games, the community is always welcome to join. Um, so like when we play Microsoft Flight Sim, you know, people always pop on. Usually I'm in voice chat with the community too during those. Streaming retro has never been super popular unless you're a really huge creator. True. Um, well, when you can have that much money because you start hiring a bunch of managers and managers start over managing and then like the goal as the company shifts. So you can have infinite money, but that doesn't mean, you know, you're going to make the right decisions. Quicker. Bring this piece down, that one up, this one over, cut off excess. Okay. 
WoW alone could have supported Blizzard for a long time. True. Like my my company right now is having a problem with too many too many upper management people making decisions and going after like shiny new stuff you know and i'm in like a i work for like a billion dollar company so All right, that was a quick one. That was a quick bar. So, let's see. We need to make how many iron chains? Was it again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. I can't. I, I, I wish I could focus a little bit more in chat while I'm blacksmithing, but this is just like kind of exacting work. So sorry if I go quiet during these portions. I'm not being all like, whoa, look at this. Whoa, let's go. Smith all day. I could do this for like definitely a while. It's enjoyable. left click on these things is a little scary but if you can do it right it really speeds up the process Thank you, Epoch TV, for the sub. I appreciate that. Enjoy your time on the channel. Uth Smith. Ah, it's like consecrated persona of your efficiency. Yes, hyper efficiency. I'm glad my proficiency, 
proficiency as a name. See, I made, I made a mistake there. I took off a chunk of good, good metal that co might come bite us a little bit. Let's get this corner in. Priority target. And we just do a nice big fold here. tap this all into place. There we go. Another bar. Might be time to make a wind-powered smithy thing. Hmm. I mean, I would still have to heat up the metal, and if I had one, it would kind of make this go double uh, twice as fast for sure. But we'll get we'll get that figured out when we make our uh, blacksmith, you know, or actually workshop. The workshop's gonna have that kind of stuff. The blacksmith will not. The blacksmith, right? It's kind of once I already make the bars, that's where that's gonna be kind of happening. It's more like a standard forge. But the workshop to me is going to be like the automation stuff. You get like a nice good alignment on the bar here. Awesome. Good. Getting faster. Proficiency. Uthrish Uth Uthsmith. 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 Something. Man, these things stay heated up for a very long time. do is we'll blacksmith for this whole day which is fine and then we will uh, kind of shift gears back to the animal and a pin crafting Lichtenstein, yes. I I do uh, like to use third person a lot because I just find it funny to refer to oneself as themselves. I mean, I have a name, damn it! I'm gonna use it. That's one thing too that you guys are gonna find here at the Uthris channel instead of uh, the, the Rat Pack channel. Is, uh, Uthris kind of has a potty mouth.
<sighs> Malova doth haveth, nameth. He shall be addressed henceforth. Should have said henceforth. He shall be addressed henceforth. See, you lost it after saying properly. Look, I'm just happy I'm more funny than Donald Trump. Not a hard thing to do. I mean, though, I do enjoy laughing at the dude. It's kind of dumb. But, uh... Whatever. I think most politics are kind of dumb. Take care, Colt. Thanks for uh, swinging by and thanks for the support. And I uh, hope you make some money. Careful out there. I'll lose that piece. We have finished 10 bars. Is that gonna be enough to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, so this, this last one here will make our chain chess piece. At least we'll have enough bars to make the chains to then make our chess piece, but alas. So much to go. Well, yeah, we have to make the chainmail armor set, and then we make the plate armor set on top of that. So we definitely have a good ways to go on our smithing here, but we're in a pretty good spot. Eleven bars made, one in-game in -game day. Uh, we can meet. We can make some uh, egg meal for some food. Let's go down to our storage. Okay. Let's all these cook something nice in our personal Cook pot. Okay, we can store seeds in there. Let's go ahead and feed the chickens. We'll feed them these rice grains. Hello, chickens. Thanks for your content, man. Today was a bad anniversary. It's been fogging all day. Starting trying to sleep with your calm voice, attitude, relaxing, play. Thanks. Hopefully, you don't 
fall asleep to my voice all the time. It would be a little disappointing, but hey, if that's the enjoyment, we can we can do some chicken ASMR. Hey, chickens, how's it going? You laying some eggs, having a good time. That's it. We can run around. That rooster's back there, pecking at the ground. Mm. Nice feathers, omelets. I don't even know what this sounds like, but I'm gonna just kind of keep talking like this for the rest of the stream. I don't even know if I'm talking loud enough to where you guys can hear me. Let's enjoy the ASMR of fire pit and cooking pot. Lovely. Burbling sounds of the fire pit really makes me tired. You're here for the chicken ASMR? Well, the ASMR is over here. Was I even like quiet? Like I, I, I have no idea. Oh, look at that! Nice new honey. The cooking pot is one of the best sounds in this game. Ten out of ten. Best experience. Because it honestly sounds exactly like my crock pot. <laughs> yeah, no, you can you can always replay the stream if you if you miss any ASMR action. Feel free to slow it down. It was pretty inaudible. Oh wow. Well. We're gonna go ahead and lay down on our wooden bed here. Enjoy. Cuddle up next to our copper handle. You're here for the bees attacking the dummies? Do the bees are some of the best things about this game. The ice is starting to form on the lake. Oh, no. A heavy temporal storm again. Great. Hopefully we'll be able to sleep through it. Hopefully. All right. Um, I'm gonna try and make one of these plates because I want to see what the chain mail recipe is like, so I can think on it a little bit. YouTube algorithm for ASMR, please, no. Please, no. I'm gonna have to start making out with my mic on Twitch or something to get views. Oh, it's so cringe. Running that through Adobe Audio Software. We're gonna bump up the gain by another positive 25. Uh, rebalance the audio. Add some effects and uh, wavelength transformation. And then at that point, feed it through my CSI control computer. Hit the enhance button three times. And then out comes perfect crystal clear audio that I'll probably sound completely blown out. That's what I would do. No, if a uh, crock pot um, can make that sound, if the lid has some moisture kind of around the rim and it kind of, uh, I don't want to get into the, the uh, nuances of crock pot noises, but I've definitely heard my crock pot make that noise. I get it. How are yourself and Geekins were like buttery, so... Whoa. Weird. Alright, here we go. Chain. We can do some heavy hits. Here, and... 
Oh, chain requires two blocks. Okay, we need double the iron. Oh my god, how expensive is this going to be? Um, I was not ready for that. I thought I was... Oh no. Um, that's a problem. Okay, so because of that, that means we're going to need 40 iron bars now. And then it'll be 40 iron bars for the plates. So 80 total iron for this armor is what we're going to end up needing. That is pretty crazy. Oh god, I don't want to read Lord of the Rings to myself. Why would I want to read it for you guys? That would be just a disservice to the world. Like, I, I really didn't take a... Isn't there steel as well? Yeah, I'm not gonna make steel. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, we might end up making, making steel at the very end. But what, from, from what I gather, it's really not worth it. Almost popped a extra hole in this plate. Okay, well, at that time, anyways. Jeff, come here. Okay, okay. You 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 brought your friends. Jeff, I'm just trying to blacksmith, man. Yeah, I can't. Uh, any any of these little bits that we remove, we can't reuse them. You gotta be careful when you're doing this. All right, that's one of ten, just for the chest armor. Oh, why is it not worth uh, steel? From my understanding. It's just super grindy. Um, and while it is better than iron, iron is plenty good by itself. A lot of people say they'll make like steel armor, um, but nothing else. And maybe like a steel sword. But like day to day tools, um, iron is probably not for 90% of it.
quoting Edgar Allan Poe or something here? Guy? Jeff weekly meeting. More like nightly meeting. Okay. Um, okay, we'll switch gears back to working on animal pin progression. I think that would be good. Let's, let's hang up that. We will grab our axe, which is still up here. You might need to blacksmith a... Um, a new axe real quick. Do I use a programmable mouse with programmable with buttons or do you use a keyboard? What uh, uh for depends on what. My mouse has um two side buttons on it that I can program. Um otherwise um my other hands on my keyboard, right? While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. To some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. There you go. I find it very interesting. Uh, I'll, I'll be candid with you guys for a second. In school, all throughout school, even when I was in theater, I was super nervous to like read things aloud because it felt like I had to read things as quickly as I read it in my head or read things as quickly, um, you know, as I could speak normally. But that's not what makes a good reading. A good reading is pausing, taking your time, Getting through it in kind of more smooth manner. And just not worried so much about it. And I don't think that's something I realized until maybe I started doing YouTube. When I had to just sit here and read your guys' comments all the time. Like aloud on stream. Earl Jones, forget about it. Thanks for the uh, the five, Milova. Appreciate that. I'm glad all I have to do is read Edgar Allan Poe for donations, and uh, that's how this gets done. Let me let me just make money off copyright infringement. I'm I'm makes makes me excited. to start doing ASMR. Is he though? I don't think he is. All right, so. On to things over yonder. Um, I need to grab some dirt so we can rough some some builds in. Oh, public domain now. 
All right. I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure if I start reading reading Poe, what will happen is I'll start hearing some. Oh my god, the storm is happening. Uh, it's been long enough though, so I think we'll be able to sleep at the very least. Oh no, he'll, he will show up at my door. Last thing you saw was trying to get those tele- Yes, they are fixed, they're operational. Um, I don't know if I'm able to quickly... So one brought us down to here. Um, and then the other one brought us north up to here. So it's a pretty good distance away. As far as I still, you know, still plan to go pretty far for our northern hunting villa. That we'll have to get to at some point. Jeffrey? Which one is it? Joffrey? It's pretty awesome. Yeah. They're, they're really cool. Yeah, I think he'll be gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Very much that. And uh, let's face it, it's not something that uh, Uther's wants to be happening. I'm already kind of a paranoid dude. Let's check our compost situation. Jeff. Yeah, we're gonna make a new knife. Iron has been great, but at the same time, it's been a little rough. Okay. Here, Jeff. Give me more hemp. Let's heal using this bandage. Nice. Bandage OP. Jeff, I'm just trying to mark out where the animals are gonna go. Okay, for pigs and rams, chat. Uh, separate pens or same large pen area? Well, what do you think?
How do people say things differently? UK North here we say compost like compost. Well, it's C-O-M post. Because post office. At least that's, I think, the thinking of Americans. Compost. Compost. Hmm. I mean, I suppose that could work. Let's see if we can happen to sleep. We might not be able to. It's probably been not long enough. But I uh, would like to be in daytime. Daytime makes it much easier for the stream. So I want you guys to be able to see, take stuff in. I don't even know if I want to attempt to say that word. Oh, it's penitentiary. Okay. I don't see that word spelled out very often. Jesus. Okay, we are good. It is about 5 a.m. now. We'll be swinging into the morning hours. <laughs> Tee hee, YouTuber YouTuber says, but sure you have junior interest. Interest? Oh no. I I mean, I think it's weird that, uh, um, or interesting that Britons will, s in a car, a windshield, they'll say windscreen. And I'm just like, screens let wind through. Like, what do you mean, a screen? There's holes in screens. Why, why would you say windscreen? It's a windshield, shielding you from the wind. Makes no sense. I just like standing out here getting hemp from Jeff because it's kind of like a decent little constant supply of the stuff. So, <clears throat> we say movie screen. Right. Well, okay, a screen... A, a, a monitor screen is a mesh LED screen, right? There's little holes in TV screens and monitor screens and stuff. Uh, not like back in the day, obviously, they're, they're using more tubes. Um, movie screen is an interesting one, I agree. That one's kind of weird to think about. Jeff world? Holy cow. So many Jeffs. And I start catching animals like uh, I would like to, but I'm going to be working on the pen in the morning. And then we're going to lay out food and kind of leave a door. dumb YouTuber. Okay. All right, so for our fences, um, for the animal fences, should we keep with the... Actually, I know what I'm going to do for fences already. Um, for 
For animals, I kind of want to just have a stone wall as the fence. In my mind. So like for example, we can use granite. So we had a fair amount of the stuff. I think we have more in the shed. Let them chase you through the plains like a madman. I'm gonna need a lot more of these things. Get this looking right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let Mr. Malova go on that. I don't have a dog in the fight anymore. Sharpening your tools to buff the durability like you've been making different sets of stones from like rough to fine, i.e. starting with sandstone and quartz. Eh, that'd be nice, yeah. I'm not like, no, I'm not offended by anything really. I think this will be a good spot for... Kind of a natural staircase already. You think one high block fence might be enough for the animal pin? Uh, we're gonna do the rough hewn over the top of it. Like what we're doing for, um, you know, the farm and stuff. Uh, there's a mod for like the blueprint chisel blocks kind of thing. But yes, I definitely agree. Um. All right, let's grab more fencing. Cause kind of once once I lay out the area, these couple pins, we'll go grab the wood for the rough hewn portion. These are gonna be larger pins because they're they're gonna be larger animals. It's also using a different stone, which is kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna start in the corner there. 
there. This is going to be a kind of halfway between the two animal pins. Get rid of this push. There's a button to just recenter the map. Okay, so this is pin one, and we'll do kind of a pin two up here. Sheep side is kind of having a lot more area right now. Officially nodding off. All right. Have a good one, Malova. Appreciate. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming out. Still hasn't notified me or anything. Pickaxe like a smart person, but alas, sometimes not so smart. Let's go grab a pickaxe. Just gonna make things easier long term. I'm gonna be fiddling with these fences a lot. Also, I need to remember to unequip my torch all the time. Steep is overrated. Wow, dedication. Breaks. Gotta go fast.
All right, question chat. Which pin should be what? Uh, uh, northern pin, southern pin. Which one's gonna be for which animal? I need to know. Uh, pig and ram. Two options. It went based on smell. Ooh. That's a that's a good reason. Store these fences and chat. What uh, what wood should we use for the fence out there? We're using oak for the ones around the town. Should we keep using oak, or should we switch that up too? Pig seven. North pig. North sheep. Sheep north. Sinks. Pigs smell more than goats. Mm -hmm. It depends. Not necessarily. <laughs> I think I might do pine for the fences. Let's go cut some pine down. I think that'll be good. A little bit of change in color compared to the rest. See if they're resin pine trees before I cut them down. Always gotta check. Oh, this pine tree is gonna go anyways. and smell into the game. Yeah. That's what I want. I want my computer to spray me with chemicals so that I know exactly how this is smelling. Sounds like a plan to me.
Okay. Decent amount of rough hewn pine fence. I love the rough hewn, rough hewn fences in this game. They just have so much more character to them than the correct fence. I wish there was almost another, a third version of the fence that was um, like a rough, a more, more rough version of the cleaner one. So like maybe a longer fence, but like more rustic. Like a rustic fence, not, not a rough fence or like a good fence, you know, like something rustic. Pretty good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like the pine. Pine's gonna be beautiful. Degrading health of staying beside smelly things. Yeah, you're basically standing beside Pudge. You don't want to know what Jeff smells like? Uh, he actually smells like fresh pine needles. Because he's always standing on my roof. He just smells like a fresh pile of hay and pine needles. One of those, like, not-so-good car car air freshener versions too. I think here I'm going to keep it, uh, since it's nice and level here, we're going to keep the uh, fence low in between these two. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that true on all the upper one. The upper flat areas, uh, no second fence is needed because it can't jump over the fence. It only really needs it on all the lower bits because it could run into an awkward situation of being able to kind of get like a boost off an upper area into a lower area. I can jump this, but I don't think, just to be sure, I'm gonna trim this back like one or two. Don't trust it. Oh, in the game, like lore wise, is it Jeff actually there? That's a good question. I'd like to know the answer to that one too. Okay, there we go. Um, while we are waiting. Of the building here. We 
Gonna go ahead and put down a couple troughs in the fields. open a little door and if we get any cross pollination between the two we'll just have to thin the herd as they say stable for sheep very acceptable to pigs Save for both. So let's see if we're able to attract any by uh, leaving out some food in the middle there. Because I think, honestly, that's the only way we're going to get any of the animals into these pens. We can't chase them in there like we did with the chickens because they don't run away, they aggro. Saw one of those bells yesterday. Yeah, the bells are ridiculous. I've only seen one, and that was about one too many, in my opinion. Five portions of straw. Good evening, Chuck. How's it going? Welcome back. Uh, bells are a underground monster in the game that ring very loudly and bring mobs to them. They're like an alarm. And a mob. And they're jerks. Going pretty well. Getting some building done. Making some progress on blacksmithing. Not as much as I would hope, though. Not as much as we would. I was kind of hoping. To be getting done. Let's feed the chickens, make sure they are incubating our eggs. hours until hopefully our first generation two chickens real excited for that I think you just attack them just like anything else in the game but normally you know like I panicked last time um, so I just ran from it because I didn't know what it was. cook like a vegetable stew or something for just some interim food.
The ship can get less panicky the greater the generation. Yes, at generation three, they no longer panic. And at generation three, I believe, this might be more for the bigger animals. If I can spell freaking knife. Um, different way here. Let's do it by looking at this. What is this? Blackguard short sword. Anyways, you can make a, a cleaver, and what it does is you can instantly kill an animal that's been domesticated for at least three generations, right? Um, so that you don't waste durability killing the animals that take multiple swings, like the pigs and the sheep. Chickens, they die in one sword swing anyways. Um, not a big deal. But this way, you don't risk yourself or anything. You just one-shot the animal to get the meat. You move on. Eskimo Uthris. The lake is still slowly freezing over. Temperatures negative three degrees now. We're gonna get start getting snow soon. Snow's gonna start pushing in from the north as November comes to an end. Out of curiosity, let's just kind of see if any animals showed up here. Doesn't look like it yet. So in terms of buildings, um, this kind of edge here will probably be where the pig building is, or maybe here. Not sure. I might smooth this section out a little bit. Am I prepared for winter? Yeah, I think we're in a really good spot for winter. At the moment. Thought about building a winter home farther south to get out of the cold. If you go south, you'll find different animals like elephants and stuff. Uh, not at the moment yet. There's different types of animals in terms of like fox. So like, you know, there's a there's an arctic fox and a normal fox. Uh, there's hy hyena to the south. Um, I don't think there's goats. Um, there's no cows. There's definitely different crops, like bell peppers, things like that too, down south.
Okay. So do I need to feed the chickens more already? The chickens already ate all their food. Holy cow. Give them a full supply of food for that next generation. Chickens? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty bright morning here. Negative nine degrees already. Down into the cellar. Let's see kind of how much we got down here. Almost enough for three. Stop eating chicken feed? Hey, man. I need to eat two. Run out to the windmill. I might have had bone mill out there. Nero, take the highway. Yep, bone meal. Hey, Dazzer. Good to see. side instead put these in the wood storage shed all right let's go ahead and harvest the rest of the bees leave one hive as a test. Oh god, so many bees. Ah. Ah, they're everywhere. Attack the dummy. Attack the dummy, not me. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it does sound weird. No idea if this one's gonna spread again, but we'll find out. Okay. Oh wow, you can break a, a beehive inside a tree. That's cool. I want, I want those to be my beehives. That'd be great. Hmm. Let's do some image searches here. Trying to decide on how I want my animal pins to look, guys. There's kind of two two things that I could do, or two methods to this that I could use, right? There's method one, which is just kind of give them a shack. Let's say, for example, here they have just like a covered area with some fencing and some poles and a simple slanted roof. And then like we put some gravel and dirt around to just kind of make it look like a sleeping area, right? Option two would be to build a act, almost not like a house per se, but like a little barn shed thing that's fully enclosed with a big barn door to let them in and out um, for both sides. Just not sure yet, which I want to do. up this hill a little bit because eventually I do want to make this this whole thing be like wheat this is like where we're gonna grow like our wheat and stuff so I do want to clean it up Build three pickaxes, one of straw, one of wood, and one of bricks. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And then throw a wolf in there. That's what you're thinking.
So I'm doing this with dirt at the moment so I can kind of see shapes for these fields. Long term, I really want that good look of fields kind of up and around underneath this windmill. And have it, I mean, obviously it's not gonna be planted at this height, but might try and step out the upper area so we can have kind of like a too high, tall. Is this your second window? Yep, second winter. Uh, no way did I build all of this in one winter. <laughs> I mean, we spent we spent three hours just working on a chiseling project on a windmill yesterday. I mean, good lord. Talk about long-winded. Ah, uh, uh, it hurts. Why do I do that to myself? Now I'll go ahead and dig down. And we're gonna try and keep this. step high variant here. Nope, second winter. Winter just feels like it lasts so long that you'd think I would be in my uh, second by now. bunch of medium grade soil for this one. So I might have blacksmith another iron shovel. Oh, you get your first Jeff attack in a mild temporal storm. There you go. That's how you know you're doing it right.
Oh my god, extended warranty. No. Let's not let's not do extended warranty. No, no one needs that. Man, look look out how good this homestead looks, chat. I think it's impressive. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and craft the a new iron shovel. really good date nice 20 days a month setup wow your winter is gonna feel like it never ends your winter is gonna last twice as long as mine i do not envy that the homestead needs a pool nah 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 Some medium fertility soil already. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down. Actually, not. Nah. Wait a second. Let's uh quickly make this shovel. Here. Store the pickaxe and axe. Other good axe. I need to make a new scythe. Also. Hammer. Does the hammer do decent damage? It does. It does a uh, 2.3. I mean, the sword does four, so maybe, maybe the hammer doesn't do decent damage. The knife does more. All right, we have a couple of these that only have two meals in them each, so. We're gonna bring these up, and this is gonna be our food for a little bit. On day 12, made my anvil. That was just fun to make. Nice. Anvil is very important piece of equipment. Creativity is inspiring on your builds. Oh, thank you. It's a lot of Google Google images. I'm playing fantasy video games. Get this ingot molded. And then turned into what were we making again? Shovel. That's what we were making. 
Fold this down. Push that up. Spin it around. There you go. Blacksmith, musician, Uthris, at it again. I feel like blacksmithing is something they did like so correct in this like so so correct oh you know what we need to blacksmith a new hoe as well well actually maybe not okay yeah we'll probably need one just that that lone lit up windmill out there would purring into a mold save some copper since you don't chip off bits this is iron. Um, and the answer is kind of no. Because at the end of the day, one bar is 100 units of copper, right? And one tool is 100 units of copper in a mold, right? So if I take a bar and turn it into a sword, and I take 100 units of copper and make it into a sword, they cost the same. Even if I chop chop off some extra bits on the bar. Peat does not regrow, no. It is a finite resource, but it's kind of all over the place. Oh, you can watch that ice spread real time. Negative 10 degrees Celsius. Burr. Okay. Let's go find some medium soil chat. Now, I'm gonna focus Terra Preta on the vegetable farm area. Uh, the grain farm, you know, isn't going to really be online for a little while. It honestly might be a little bit more for looks than anything else. So here's some peat. If only they called called that burnable soil Steve. Oh look at Steve. My good my good friend Steve. Soil firm form. Firm form. Ah wolf. Ow. Mistakes were made this day. Okay, it's still chasing me. Hello, goat. Goodbye, goat. No, you don't come back here, wolf. Oh yeah, growl or you want, buddy. All right, Jesus Christ, you're fast. Medium fertility. Soil boy. 
I was thinking more Groundhog Day, but okay, sure. So this is the interesting thing about medium soil. Medium soil can house Terra Preta inside of it. Um, which is the best soil in the game. And you can also, Terra Preta grows grass over it. So in the fields, you could be walking over Terra Preta and not know it because you're not really looking and paying attention to the grass block. Those little interesting tidbits that I think about every now and then about this. All right, three stacks. Start with three stacks of soil. See how well that goes. And then we'll get the channels cut too and uh, pour the water in between to irrigate. Brian Lewis, another two dollars. Jeez, man, thank you. I'm officially making minimum wage, baby. <laughs> I appreciate it. go you know if you guys are enjoying the content feel free to subscribe become a member today unlock our cool emotes and help us unlock more emotes um if you want to
I really am hoping that the uh, step sort of luck to this field over here is going to pay off. Yesterday's stream you said you did something for Alaska. Did you mean Alaska Airlines? No, no, no. I... Um, one of our companies is based in Alaska. And I support them. Uh, they're not Alaskan Airlines. I work for federal contracting, so... Um, there's just a federal contract out there in Alaska. Doing Alaska stuff. I think from a map perspective too, having this cool kind of like slightly sweeping field, this kind of organic look is just going to look so cool. Just hoping to keep inspired to stream more content. I'm sure I'm not the only one that appreciates it. Well, thanks for it. You're like the nicest person ever. Like I don't I don't know how to handle <laughs> donations and stuff. I can I can barely handle praise at work. state i mean i don't you know i i support them from down here in virginia have you been up there i have not um ellendorf air force base okay anchorage um you know our headquarters i think is based in anchorage up there i've never been um though i know some people that have been up there for sure Try and warm up now, it's getting cold. Ugh, there we go. We're good now, since it's uh, starting to become consistently more, more cold, we're gonna have to be warming up more often. I could upgrade my commoner shirt to see if we can't get some more warmth out of it. Real quick. Uh, two, two. Now we're at plus two. If I can repair my jeans, that'll give us another two degrees Celsius warmth. I should make a hat. I really wish I could make like a farmer's hat. your trait. Uther's being unable to handle compliment and praise. Yes, it just, it just makes me feel awkward. I don't know what to do with it. Just take a vacation trip up in the summer, late June, early July, if you like outdoors. Perfect mountains, 20 minutes from town, lots of wildlife to see, good fishing, etc. E7, E8 select. Nice. 
I mean, I definitely... Oh, our chickens hatched. Are they considered Gen 2? <gasps> they are. They're Gen 2 chickens. We've done the thing. Progress. Awesome. More chicken eggs. Okay. Um, I was going to make some buckets to fill in some of the waterways between these areas. Let's grab... Oh, shoot. No, we just used all of our cloth, didn't we? I can make one bucket. One new bucket's fine. Do have this one. Those are empty. And then I think this one for the honey is currently empty. Nope. I need I need like long-term honey storage. Need more barrels. Jesus Christ, dude. Stop. You're making me feel awkward. Thank you. Another $20 by Brent. I don't even know what to say anymore. I appreciate it. I think I think that's. I'll just I'll just be honest. I'll, I appreciate the twenty dollars. You guys don't have to do that. I, w I wish people could gift subs or like support. You know, memberships, like you could on Twitch. But thanks, Brian. Hi, Jay. Welcome to the stream. Right, let's clear out some of these uh, bushes, get some sticks. Need a couple of them for uh, making some buckets. For some honey storage. Glad you guys are enjoying the game. Um, if you haven't checked it out already, here, I'll go ahead and just put a link in the game for the game in chat. You know, go ahead and support them. Small indie team. Looks great. bucket or barrel um, maybe we can just keep these here so we can just dump our honey in there Michael Michael Fournier for the 10 Canadian let's make it a little bit more awkward Uh, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I don't do enough for you guys for that to be worth it, but regardless, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Big, big support. You guys are uh, way too kind. I'm just happy that uh, you guys are enjoying the stream. 
having a good time. In the community. It's it's starting to feel like the most awkward stream. Matthew Milburn with the five dollars. Don't know what's going on. This need to be on mute right now. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Thanks. Am I a YouTuber now, guys? Am I, am I a YouTuber? If we're here watching you nearly every night, then you deserve to respect your work and your authenticity. Thanks. Like that, I, I, I just feel like that's all I can say is that, thanks, 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 thanks. Broken record Uthers, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Okay, um, let's get back to digging out some <laughs> some dirt, guys. This is this is what we all came here for the dirt digging. I remember. the awkwardness let it mold you into a perfect awkward streamer man if that keeps up i feel like i just swallowed like a pepper out of nowhere if that keeps up uh you know we yeah i'm distracted now and then uh we'll, we're we're gonna be yelling let's go here soon no one wants that to happen i don't even want that to happen Swapping all the low fertility uh, to medium at the moment. And of course, we'll try and swap it out to uh, other things as we go. Whether we get enough compost to make high quality soil or not. I'm not quite sure. Sure, you know, Pog Champs, and we might have to pass the line of not going back. <laughs> Freaking hate. I don't know. There's stuff about the streamer lingo that I just absolutely don't like. 
Like I'm I will never be an overly excited kind of fake hype or anything like that. Brian with the two dollars. I'm focusing. I am hyper focused. All I'm doing is, is focusing 100, 110%. Press G in the water? I can. Holy cow. Awesome. I can kind of dig this out. Make it go farther. Maybe I could have otherwise. Awesome. Two. Or, or, or the upper layer will kind of call it like that, I think. So we need to go grab some more medium soil to finish replacing. And then we need to craft a new plow to plow this all up so it's kind of permanently good to go. It was funny, I was, I was talking to Booster today, guys, while he was streaming this, and I was like, Booster, are we Minecraft YouTubers now? It's your stream, do your thing, we're, we're just enjoy the creativity, I appreciate it. Like, even nice comment, like, even that was like, Jesus Christ, I'm so awkward. Um, ba -ba 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 let's grab this. Off we go. Back to medium soil land territory. This road's so fast. It's awesome. No. Still gonna need to make some compacted soil though. Some medium fertility. Lovely. Lovely, lovely medium fertility soil. adult voxels true especially when you get into the chisel mode I'm basically playing uh, kit bashing with Gundams the hobby now all of a sudden I want to make a Gundam in this game <laughs> can we can we chisel a, a Gundam you think guys I, I want to make a Gundam statue now would that be too much Maybe just a little too much. Let's 
So we would need white, dark, gray, if not black, red, and blue. I need to work on your gunpla mount models. There you go. I saw Adam Savage finally get into like some Gundam building. It's pretty cool. That model that he got though was so good looking. But then you go down that road. And we don't return from that road. That road is where people go and get lost. Charizard's Charizaku? You have a real great nice. Ah! Fuck. This is Jeff. I mean If 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 this field was corn, you know, I would have said that you're like the children of the corn field are coming out, but Good luck with the Gundam statue, that would take a long time considering the detail on them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't make a full-scale Gundam. It would be like a... jeff size statue. Something basic. You can only do so much with voxels, you know. the low fertility here. SD Gundam size. Um, I would say about as tall as my character. Which, if you think about it in terms of like how many voxels we had to work with, even with the chisel, that's not going to be like overly detailed. Not to say that it couldn't go like over the size of my character a little bit, just because of, uh, you know, there might be need to do that. But for the most part, you know, two block talls, turn that into a Gundam of some kind. Um, you know, if I make like wing zero, I might have to add a bluff back here for the for the wings, and then maybe have to do something else for like to get the length of the shield, and then uh, maybe for the gun, you might have to. Go out this way a little. Yeah. It might get a little crazy if I start doing that. Okay. Um, I think we have a good spot here for the fields. Full size Gundam would be great. <laughs> Again, uh, spent hours and hours chiseling a windmill. Do people really want to see hours and hours of chiseling? Okay, who am I kidding? You guys probably would watch me chisel a full-scale Gundam in this game. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. Iron hoe in the morning. Hey Jeff, you stuck Brian Lewis oh. with the ten dollars. Thank you for the ten dollars, Brian. Jesus. Natural and just really enjoying the game in your streams. Thanks. Well, you can get the game for eighteen U.S. dollars. So if you guys don't have it, you can pick it up from their website. It's a fair price, in my opinion. 
the single save I have 80 hours on. Holy cow, you you have su are you bribing Jeffs with your donations? Is that what you what you're doing? You just put out a hit on my head? Like what was this? Base has come a long way. Yeah, the base has come a very long way. You know, from a measly three by three shack to many buildings, farmland, animals. Yeah, I haven't fully sealed in the back wall yet. So, like for example, there's a gap here that can they can get through. And they can kind of climb this block and hop over. But once the fence, the oak fence is installed here and sealed to this block, we put one like up here to kind of block that off. This back wall will be secured and they won't be able to hop it anymore, but they might still spawn back in here because of the, the brightness level being too low. There's also, well, the giant hole in the wall, you know, for a gate. So that's a factor. I don't remember if it was you or not, but someone said that $1 per hour makes a game worth to buy. If you get 60 hours, it's a dollar time, then it's worth it. I thought about it and I agree. Yep. That's uh, it's kind of like me and my brothers um, thinking of in, um, when it comes to purchasing power on games. So I, I definitely said that the other day. No chickens. Get out of get out of the coop. It's daytime, please. Evacuate. Evacuate the coop. Thank you. you. Guys are freaking out. There's so many like different colors for the chickens too. I like all the chicken patterns. So far. We'll be interested to see what colors we get for Gen 2. $2.50 per Jeff. <laughs> Well, you know, Jeff, Jeff has a very competitive pay rate. Jeffrey probably would get wood, and Geoffrey might if you pay him with enough stuff. Yeah, we pay Geoffrey in temporal gears. That's what, that's what we do. Alright, let's do that couple, um... Tools that we need to make here. Pay bounty on Jeff. Five cents per head the rest of the stream, so keep track for me. Well, I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and end the stream here so you don't end up spending way too much money on me, Brian. I can't let you keep doing that. Man, once once we get this, some wheat off in the distance, you can kind of. Oh man, the windmill's gonna look so good. I love me a good windmill. And then we'll build the lumber mill down here, which will look good. We'll even put like some logs in the water floating, for aesthetic. I think that'll be pretty cool looking. Um, because, <laughs> because why not? I'm making a village, but there's only one house. Why do I do this? I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Not what I wanted. <laughs> See, I can make you on it. It's a two-way street. Alright, let's get some 
blacksmithing in. Hold on, I have a work email. Let me just see what it is. Okay, we're good. One house village. I mean, honestly, my my roundhouse would be able to fit like a family or so. off. And we will make, what was I going to make? Iron, oh, head. Which is apparently super easy. Flatten the crap out of this thing. Send an email from Jeff, don't worry. I don't work with many Jeffs. Though I do work with one that's like a director. He's a pretty cool dude. Made a hunting log one day away yet? Uh, no, I haven't made our hunting lodge yet. I have the, the direction that we want to go marked still. But I don't think we're going to be working on that hunting lodge for a little while. Because when we go up there, um, you know, we're going to bring a whole set of tools, some food. We're going to be living in probably like a little wooden shack for a little bit up there. Where we try and find like a good uh, permanent home. Okay, um, I was gonna make a new knife. I think a knife blade. Right there. Bring this over. Blade. Use a translocator, go south or north. No, I, I want it to be a day's travel on foot solid without using a translocator. Because I want it, I want it to make, I, I like the idea of like building like a path out to there or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. All right, new knife, great. Alright, let's try, yep, yeah, let's use this hoe here until the soil, I think we have some soil over here to till as well, or did we already do that? Terra Preta. In this area. OK. 
cabin in the, in the mountains about a day's hike. Yeah, it's, um, we're thinking about that far. So you can see that blue mark up there. It's where we want to build our villa. It's about 3,000 blocks away at an angle. If that's even a good spot, we might wander around around that area, but that's about the distance. A full map length. Corner to corner. Distance. Winter or summer day? Um, a summer day. Maybe some day, maybe some winters we can spend it all up there. And then maybe some winters we'll make like a summer home, like south. Now we'll have to go really far south to not get winter. Um, that's gonna be like extremely far. snowing. There's some snow flakes. Some flurries going on. Not like McDonald fl fl they're not McFlurries, but they're flurries. You know. Don't worry, the, the McDonald's ice cream machine is broken, guys, so we're not going to be getting into that anytime soon. Windmill going? Yep, I thought I heard the corn start up. Yeah, it's uh, November 8th in the game. Winter is here. For sure. The lake is almost all frozen over. It's funny, I titled this stream making plate armor. But we just, <laughs> we, we kind of gave up already on that. Funny to think that FTC is investigating McDonald's for their broken ice cream machines. Wow. Federal Trade Commission is. Um, so I actually saw a, a, a video on their broken machines and kind of like what the root cause is. Um, because apparently they have the same ice cream machines as like Wendy's. From like a, a pure manufacturer standpoint. The problem is, uh, I, if, I, if I can remember from the video well enough, is that McDonald's does a poor job doing the maintenance cleaning cycle. And so whenever it's broken, that's actually just what they're telling people. But in reality, they're going through the maintenance cycle a lot of the time. It's so many plates. Yeah, not, not just plates, but chain. I do want to try and get the chain mail done today, though. The very least. Let's see if we've gotten lucky if any animals have shown up to come eat our uh, straw that we've laid out. Not yet.
I do not allow any links in chat. I have turned that off. That bot kind of made me want to just ax all links in chat. So, no links get shown at the moment. Just not something I want to risk, sadly, anymore. But, Discord. You can post links in our Discord and stuff like that. Which is the nice thing. Hey, Booster. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Everyone in chat, say hi to Booster. He's also a fellow streamer. And uh, he's been playing a lot of this multiplayer so you can check out his channel he's a pretty good guy just google responds about the FTC investigation of uh, We're, uh, we're making a new field booster out here by the windmill. This is where I'm going to be permanently growing all my grains. Because um, I figured grain shouldn't be grown anywhere but around a windmill. <laughs> see, uh, see, I'm not the only one that can't handle praise chat. All right, I'm not the only one. Finally, yes. this good organic shape going and the map is starting to get really oh wow <laughs> winter is making its way south chat look at that we're right beneath the arctic line right now um but we're carving kind of this nice organic shaped field So Reddick can use your failed iron ingots on the Hellhammer and they will fill in the missing pieces. What's a what's a failed iron ingot? I don't even know what that is. This is plowing these fields, half a durability of an iron hoe. Holy cow. Didn't have enough pieces to fill in the voxels. Oh, he might have like accidentally trimmed some extra off and then just couldn't, couldn't fill in the rest with what was left over. Okay, that makes sense. Nice and warm. Alright. Chat wanted a second field anyways, so... 
That'll be good. As winter arrives. Let's check our little chickens. Booster, have you guys started keeping animals yet? I'm curious if you have anything else other than the chickens that like I have. Hello chickens, you're fine. All good, good. Great to hear. I'm gonna go ahead and feed them a little bit. We'll give them like 16 units of grain. In my hat yet? No, there's no, there's, I can't make a hat for some reason. Like, there's just no hats to make, I guess. Outside of like the one hat the tailor can make. Maybe I have to buy them? Um, I need to make maybe some fur gloves though. What's that, just require some pelts? We can make pelts. I try tomorrow. Nice. Good luck. Um, what is this? Two medium pelts. Let those cure in our inventory, and then we can make a uh, some fur gloves. That'll help. Nom 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 nom. How'd your cellar turn out, Booster? Is it uh, well stocked now, or are you still working on the details of it? Sadly, I was working so much today that I didn't get to watch a whole lot. I hope, I hope this beehive stays around. All I wonder, we're, we'll kind of see if it does. All right, uh, throw this away. Don't want him. Throw this away. Don't want it that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Did anyone just notice this? I don't, I don't know if anyone noticed this. This maple seed, when I throw it, watch it. Just, just watch it. It freaking, it spins and gets carried by the wind. Hold on, I want to, I want to try and throw it off something a bit taller. All right, the wind is blowing which way? This way? Dude. <laughs> it's the little things in this game that are just great. How have I not dropped one of those before? Didn't finish it yet. <laughs> Another six hour stream, nice. <sighs> you already knew about the helicopter things? Well, why didn't you tell me? Supposed to keep me informed of these very, very important developments. Hmm. Let's 
So I'm gonna have to buy this now. The detail, the little extras. Yes, the the fact that a maple seed does the helicopter descent. That was my deciding factor to get this game. I mean, what else? What else could it they offer? Um, do I need... We need a leather jerkin for the chest piece armor. And we're going to need another armor stand. what armor stand recipe is. I think it requires planks. I was on the fence, but obviously really care about the game to put small deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have watched my stream if you wanted to be more informed. Hey, 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 yeah. for work. Rem, thank you for the sub. Enjoy your time on the channel. I appreciate it. Okay, a lot of Jeffs. I think I think the thing that makes these devs special is that they used to be modders. And if you think about it, modders are always passionate about their product. Um, because they're doing something for free anyways. And so if you give them the utilities to like just make their own game however they want, um, bet your ass that it's going to be at least a passionate project, if nothing else. Right? Skipping stones, yep. Yeah, I like skipping stones. Here, we'll skip some stones. Can I skip it across the frozen water? What's that do? Oh god, it launches them. They, they go flying. Adding 15 cents on the Brian tab. No, it's members that go to towards the emotes. Um, so, I can look real quick. I think we're about the same. Let's just see. Let's see how close we are to a new emote slot. Mm, here, memberships. Edit emotes. How close until we can make a new one. We are four members away from a new emote slot. Is all my leather in the work shed? I think so. yep. Okay, got the leather jerking and stuff booster. Didn't have to do that, man. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. We're down to three. Members required to unlock your new emote slot. That's something that you guys have to do. But I do like to provide you guys with some emotes. Takes a village. <laughs> yes, Booster has founded his own village here in Vintage Story. Everyone make sure to go visit his village on his channel forum. Friend watched me play this for 13 hours and two days. Nice. It 
it's, it's a good one. Armor stand is boards. Hey, Jeff. Get out of here, Jeff. New armor stand acquired. There we go. Chuck Miner forming a village as well on the outskirts. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. This has been a pretty crazy stream. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know how to handle what's going on. Right now. <laughs> Uther Frost. Okay, um, let's see. What can I make with some of this other leather? Created by in a barrel. Siderite, chromite, alum, crushed chromite, crushed cassiterite, I don't even know where alum is, man, did booster bring stoop waffles, I hope so, Actually, I was thinking about getting some stoop waffle rolls today for uh, breakfast. They just keep so good. I'll keep being me. Thank you. Uh, okay. Here are little baby chickens outside. They're having a good time. I'm gonna unequip this torch so we're not taking more food. Hello, chickens. Guys are just all over the place. Jeff! My friend! Please. Oh, okay. Relax, Jeff. Relax. What were we gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna go ahead and smith up what we needed for the chest piece, right? Chain mail chest piece. Make sure we have some hammers. Grab a stack of coal. Grab these. So we need to make nine ingots and then combine those two 18 ingots together to make our chainmail requirements for iron chainmail armor. And then another 20 iron ingots to make iron plate mail. And then another 20 iron ingots to make the chainmail pants and helm. Another 20 iron ingots to make the plate mail helm. And dude, the armor is missing in this game is so in depth. I love it. Courtney Miller forming a town on the channel. Thank you for the support. Very appreciated. You guys are pretty, pretty fucking awesome today. I don't even know what to say still. So. 
Oh, what's the... Now I have to think of a new emote. Dang. I don't even know what to add. Um, we have a Jeff emote. Should I add a windmill emote? Uh, um, maybe. Everyone likes windmills. I think Booster already has a windmill emote. That'd be a little weird. <laughs> What's the next Avorion episode? I need to record that. Um, it might be next week. I've been so busy and enjoying streaming this that I've kind of forgotten to record things. My bad. The Dutch will be pleased. Yes. I could probably make a nice looking uh, uh, emo windmill emote using the uh, the windmill that we did make. It's spinning at the moment. Uh, kind of. There you go. There's some windmill action for you. Concentrate on this chat. It's a, it's, a, it's a busy blacksmithing day, but it's gotta be done. If we're gonna get that armor, and the sooner we can get that armor, the more s quickly we can do more cave exploration. We all want more cave exploration. these bars out so you get so much on the stream makes you happy well done everyone I mean Brian you're leading the charge I, I don't know what I did to deserve any of this today but very much appreciate everything like I don't think people realize um, how much a good stream? It's like a honestly, I, I care more about chat being like super active and, and engaging and, and entertaining um, than donations or anything like that. Because YouTube for me, you know, I don't make a living off YouTube, so like donations aren't a requirement. But uh, I don't know. It, it's it's in a very interesting feeling when a stream feels like it goes very well. Your awkwardness and the support makes it worth it. Well, I don't think that's gonna go away ever. Mind seeing the land around the translocator spots of dying light when you get the chance? And daylight. Uh oh, 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 those those lands. Okay, I thought I thought you meant um um where the entrance ones are. Not, not the other areas. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely need to go back there. 
I need to bring ladders next time so that we can just ladder out instead of like go and go the long way through the cave, you know? I think that'd be better. I play as long as I watch you. Nice. Oh, I took off a chunk. Oh, let's see if we get enough pieces left. Looks like we do. Awesome. Four bars done. Chipping away at this iron. view of darkness from the mountains was definitely a bit eerie. I agree. Only 76 to go. Only like 900. Ooh, kind of faff that one up. Let's open up that one back up. Till next time. All right, Booster, you have a good one. Thanks for uh, coming out and giving your support. I appreciate it. I know you don't do this for a living, but it's enjoyable to watch things you create, and therefore you should be rewarding. Dude, you're just so god damn wholesome. So chat, do you have any like favorite things about the blacksmithing system? Um, or maybe even some things that you would like to see them improve with the mechanics. I'm not really talking about like, uh, obviously a lot of people want the, the little extra cutoffs to be added back and be able to be like smelted down. So I think I'm talking a little bit more in terms of, um, you know, are there, are there things that you would like change, like, you know, maybe change this menu a little bit. Maybe it should be a little bit more of a different type of interaction. Um, I don't know. Just kind of curious what people think of it.
Put this around. Push him off some more. To seven. Two more bars, and then we can start making the chain mail. All the chain pieces. So we're to copy chiseled pieces from the forge, like custom molds or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Are you talking about like make a mold of a chiseled block and then maybe like do a casting into that mold and then you get like a detailed metal piece in that shape? I think that would be really cool. Maybe some forms you can just pour ingots in other base items instead of having to hammer them all the way. Might have to do some finishing, but not the whole thing. Hmm. Yeah, if they had like some sort of maybe late game technology for like a hydraulic press, maybe you could like press out um, objects. So like for example, throw an ingot in there and it presses for, let's just say, let's just take a sword for example. It presses it like 99% of the way there and you just trim off a couple pieces with your hammer and you're good to go. Maybe add XP levels to enable speed farming after you create many of the same item. Um, so in Terra Firmacraft, they had like an XP system. And the way that system worked, and I really liked it, which was... Uh, um, so let's say I am a level one smith, okay? And I make a tool. Depending on the speed, or how, however many hits it takes me to craft that item, um, it affects the durability by a little bit, right? So if I if I sit there and bend the metal for over and over and over, reheat it, rebend it, reheat it, um, the durability on my item is going to be a little bit less than if I did a little bit more of a quicker, perfect uh, construction of that item. Um, and then levels, I think, also gave it a flat durability increase. Um, and I wouldn't mind seeing that here in this as well. Just like, hey, my, my blacksmithing's high enough, and I just get like, you know, 10% extra durability. And there, there is a workshop mod that kind of does that already right now. They kind of give flat bonuses like that. Like for farming, you either harvest faster or you get like 10% more resources, etc, etc. Grinding wheels to sharpen tools. Grinding wheels would be a cool like finishing stage, I think, for um, the blacksmithing. Like maybe on like harder metals, like anything above bronze, you have to finish it on a grinding wheel. Bellows to superheat the forge to make it quicker. Yeah, that would be fine because uh, I'm sure later on when you're doing like more health hammers, maybe you are kind of waiting on things to get heated more often than you are for things to get hammered down. Especially if your automation's like really up there. So bellows could be a thing. Oh shoot, it's, <laughs> it s snows here, guys. Apparently.
All right, this last ingot, we're gonna quickly turn into an ingot and immediately turn into a new hammer. Because you can see our hammers are getting a little low. You break off too many pieces, you actually screw yourself over and lose the ingot. Um, that's kind of already in the game in a way, right? If I broke off a bunch of chunks of this ingot, I wouldn't be able to finish it. I would have to heat up another ingot and combine the two together um, to get like a new ingot or just kind of throw that ingot away, right? Um, I feel like that's kind of already in the game, luckily. Any differences with each blacksmith item like there was with creating clothes and armor? Um, no. Not by default. No, Jeff, you cannot run the bellows. Please. Just, just go away, Jeff. We love you, but also kind of attack us. that piece all right uh, iron hammerhead let's go ahead and make that um, quickest way to make hammerheads in my opinion I think I can do it like this I need to come up with a quicker way to make the hammer heads. Like, can I can I just simply take out that and then just fold everything in? Yeah, I think that's gonna long term be the fastest way to do that. You know. Hammer. Awesome. Very nice. Okay, so we have 19 total ingots. We need eighteen of them. Count six, but I also stepped away for a bit. So these are the ones that we're going to smelt together to get our chain. I think it was actually like two more from our last total. Maybe, so I'm wrong. The customization with the chiseling resets the game apart for me. Whenever a title gives a player creative controls for the surroundings, I count that as a win. I totally, you know, like the apiaries, for example, that we have over here, super ex happy with. Um, as like, even just learning how to do chiseling, getting like a rounded A-frame structure with like cross supports and like the extra sticking out is like very impressive. And then you can throw a different colored roof on it using the multi-block. And then, you know, what we learned by doing that you really brought towards that windmill over here. And uh, there's still plenty of work to do on this windmill, mainly the roof. But the fact that we were able to like use the same type of chiseling for the legs of the ladder, which is now getting snow on it, which is the coolest shit ever. Um, 
and then we can climb up here and like we have a snow covered railing um, all of our logs are rounded you know take out chunks go my corn go And I even just love the fact that when you put the rough hewn fence over the dry stone fence, it cleans up the edge by default. Like it just does it. It's just like, okay, here you go. And now you have like a snowy hewn fence and it looks really good. Anthony drop dead has subscribed to Anthony. But Anthony, please don't drop dead. Let's not do that. Yeah, with the with how quick the uh, windmill is turning because of the wind coming through, um, yeah, it would be a good day to make flour. I don't really care about flour at the moment. Uh, it's good for pies. Uh, I think the base bread needs some some better recipes unless I can make better bread I don't think so But uh, I think they're gonna be working on that too at some point. Oh Hey Jeff, how's it going bud? You having a good time? You're cold? How often in August? I'm very new myself. Um, the most recent update on their site was from, let me see. Let's actually just look that up real quick. So I'm kind of curious, that's a good question. Um, let's go to devlog. Um, August 9th was a minor update point four and point five um and then the 15.3 came out in july fifteen came out in july and then version fourteen came out in december so it seems like once a quarter or two. You know how it is you play a game on and all the names you're taking. Okay, hold on, sorry. You know how it is you play a game on and all the names are taken, you have to pick something different? Yes. Yes. How do you think I got stuck with the name Uther, sorry? It's not the best sounding YouTuber name in the world. I mean, shoot, half the people think my name is Uterus. Mm. That makes it a little awkward sometimes. Let's grab some eggs. Thank you. Can you guys stop freaking out a little bit? Just just a little bit, please. Boy, winter has set in strong today. We are back in it. We are 100% back in it. Can't wait till the windmill has like snow on it too. That'll look pretty. Okay. Let's go ahead and start crafting. Our plates. 
Is there an egg on the path? Yes. I wish I could throw the eggs. I mean, I can. I can just throw them like that. Fishing would be... A, yeah, that's definitely on the roadmap. There's a, there's a mod for that one as, also. Um, but when fishing comes out, officially, right, because this save I'm not using any mods in, um, I want to make an ice fishing, fishing hut out there. Like a permanent structure. It'd be pretty cool. All right, can I? Whoa, Jeff! Look, I know, I know you want to help out on the forge, and you want to work the bellows. I get it. I understand. But please, respect, respect my blacksmithing space. Wait, I can add, like, four pieces of metal at once? Since when was the, has that always been a thing? I did not know I could do that. And I just stole some of the heat from the rest of my ingots by doing so. Huh. Um, all right, so let's do iron chain and let's get these heavy hits in. Good stuff's on the roadmap. These things are nerve-wracking to cut out. Because if I misclick, it's going to be a little awkward.
Um, I think we, we figured this out a little bit earlier today. I think someone said the team is six or seven full. Was it last night? Oh man, I'm just like forgetting everything now. All, all these streams are starting to just blend together. Sorry, these, these, uh, man, these blacksmithing pieces here take a little bit of extra concentration. Ugh. Like I've, I feel like I've hammered so many of these iron bars together now. Michael, thanks, thanks for uh, coming about and uh, chilling with us. Appreciate it. Hope you have a good night. See you in the next stream. I think I'm, I'm getting in a good rhythm though. There's a mod to chisel glass and allows you to make stained glass patterns. Oh. oh. I'm still kind of in the camp that I want to stay with, away with from mods for now. Because I feel like if I mod the game too much and then, you know, I get, get used to all that it offers, I might lose sight of the original. Thing. And then also if I stream this game and it's heavily modded, um, I don't know if that looks good for the devs, to be honest.
Mm. Oh man, it's getting close to needing to make some food again. No, there's a, there's a lot of neat ones, for sure. Like the extended food one is looks pretty good. From all the different food items you'll be able to make. Um, it's obviously the fishing one. That I think is a pretty solid looking one. There's a few decoration ones. Uh, I really like the medieval one. Who doesn't want to make a pork cutlass and stuff, right? Yeah, mods for multiplayer I think would be better. Like single player, there's already still, there's already enough for me to do in this game. Just like, get going. Cows for a mod? Well, that's good. I'm slowly starting to uh, get the heavy hits down. Um, if if I can get a little bit better with my heavy hits, I feel like these are just gonna come together a lot, a lot quicker. Because that'll do a lot of the work for us. Whenever I get to the point of chiseling all the stuff out, I just feel like I'm uh, holding my breath the whole time. Looking at some of the mod descriptions and pictures they would fit into the base game, it would probably look favorably, yeah.
Like, look how much quicker this one came together before I have to trim it. Like, these aren't even heated up to yellow yet. And I'm basically there. I think that was a perfect example of what I just said last time. And a trance out when you're chiseling, yeah. Like, when I'm doing this, I'm just like, hammer, 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 hammer. And like, just keeping that timing going in my head. You like the first time must be vanilla? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to do that with just about everything that I do in every game. Like, I, I always want to see how do the devs envision their game to go. Because that's how I judge, you know, the developers and make sure they're... Alright, Axe, do you have a good one? Fantasy draft right over, why are you showing money on Uthris? What? Boom, Brian Lewis. Again, dude. Go like buy a car or something. <laughs> Go buy something useful. Maybe like, uh, uh, put that into your 401k, maybe. Might be good to do. Save up for, for some retirement. Nat Streamer Man Uthris. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Brian. You guys have just been crazy today. I'm so glad this is the last one, guys. My eyes are just going cross-eyed. Maybe, maybe the next time we do this, we'll we'll use the health hammer, huh? enough. Here's my other one. There it is. Ten. Chainmail 
pieces. Put the jerk in here. Don't tell me it takes 11. Don't tell me it takes 11. Took ten. Game why? All right, nope, not giving up. We already have one bar. Let's just let's just crank this out real quick. I want I want this chess piece in here. Courtney Miller donated five dollars to the super chat. Four hundred one k. Tomorrow one k. This is still cheaper than paying for for TV. <laughs> True. We just stick it to the cable company. I mean, I for one don't pay for cable. I can appreciate that sentiment. Oopsie indeed. All right. Let's go ahead and store the charcoal. We won't be needing that. I'm just watching this lake get smaller and smaller every day with this stream. so much for making things yeah just one count off that's all it takes Showing, showing off my blacksmithing skills, guys. I'm gonna be able to like do this in my sleep. Boom. Gypsy six. How much is a Netflix subscription? I forget. For the fifteen dollars, they appreciate it. All the awesome support today has just been pretty overwhelming. No TV and fastest internet I can get with six megabytes. Oh, that sucks, dude. So I can watch this at seven twenty p if you're lucky. Well, hopefully that's that uh, six MB up and down isn't breaking your bank. But uh, thanks for coming out. Even if uh, the game is a little bit more pixelated than the pixel art it's actually made with. I appreciate you. All right, here we go. Chain mount. Last one.
over to there. Let's do a heavy hit here, here. Some pieces in. Waiting, waiting for Jeff. Because he's, he's about to show up, I'm sure. Do it, Jeff. Get out. Get out of here, Jeff. I think it's cool that I can like stand anywhere I want around this anvil and it works. Okay, trying this again. Two. Chainmail body armor complete. Look at that. Flat damage reduction 1.3. Let's let's compare this to our uh, Gambison chest piece. So Gambison uh, flat damage reduction 0.7. This one 1.3. So double the damage reduction already. Uh, Gambison 70%. Percent protection, 84%. Tier three, tier two, but it's basically um, tier 2.5. Uh, this is healing minus 10, healing minus 17. Hunger plus three, hunger plus seven. Range accuracy minus three, no range penalty there. Walk penalty minus three. So I think charge, if, if you're gonna go and like wear armor as like a good Archer, I feel like chain armor is gonna be your thing in one in in that. Look at that. That looks good. That looks good. Nice. Can do the same with clay working as well. I'm talking about make a uh, chain bolt or something. All right. We'll go ahead and hang this up. Get in there. We are definitely getting there. Okay. Sleep real quick. And then kill all these Jeffs. That's on my roof yet again. Let's see if the uh, lake gets any smaller. Because it might. Yep, look at that. It's shrinking. You say move about in the armor? Oh, it's got a good sound effect. I like that. That's a that's a good chainmail sound. As someone who has worn chain now, that's kind of what it sounds like. Alright, let's go deal with Je the Jeff Menace. Jeff, come on down. Quick four, Jeff. Destroyed. You okay, chickens? Are the babies getting bigger now? bigger. Oh, hey, Jeff. 
Is that a le I don't I don't know. I don't keep track of how many Jeffs we destroy. We kill a lot of them. We definitely kill a lot of Jeffs. I know there's a bounty on Jeff going on right now, but uh, I want you guys to deal with that because I don't want Brian to. I got the windmill a little bit in the winter. It's gonna be a little dark. Ah, so you can see the roof kind of covers up half the ladder. So now all the ladder is gonna get snow on it. Cut it out, Jeff. Stop chasing me around. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. All right, guys. Tell you what, Uthris is super tired. It's 11.20. I've streamed for four hours and 45 minutes a day. Um, these long streams, I don't know how long they're going to keep going. Normally the two, three hour range is where I sit at with these things. Um, and it's only, you know, dependent on how busy I am at work and stuff. So I really, really appreciate everyone coming out today, chilling with us. And chiseling with us and crafting armor with us building some fields farming hanging out by the windmill and just overall enjoying this wonderful game um if you guys want feel free to subscribe for more creative goodness such as this you can go ahead and hit that like button i'm gonna end the poll here um Become a member today to help us unlock more emotes and get emotes yourself because I think you guys deserve to use them in chat. 24% um, of you say Jeff on today's poll. That's a fairly common answer. I agree. Jeff. It's very Jeff. Anyways, we'll be back maybe tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, with some more Vintage Story as we continue surviving in this harsh, slow nice creative game 17 jeff plus a few extra for bounty thank you brian i really appreciate it digging the content thanks for making hey no problem you guys have a good week i'll see you all real real soon